Recon here with Tech Out, and a couple hours ago, Ubiquity just released uh, Dream Machine 1.12.37 and the early access build for um, the early access testers. So, as you can see, with that, we also got 2.4.26 the migration um, from that version. So, you need to go ahead and update to 1.12.37 if you want to migrate over to 2.4.26. Um, now I already am doing so right now my my UDM Pro is actually currently upgrading so we will see how that goes um, but right now you do have to um, they have a couple versions of this and they usually close these because they want um, they want to test migration from uh, 1.x to 2.x from different versions um, so like when they release 2.4.23 um, and 1.12.33 you had to upgrade from 1.2.33 to 2.4.23. I know all the numbers are kind of confusing in there, um, but try to follow along if you can. Um, so when they did that, they did close the migration process because they wanted to wait until they released this version, 1.12.37, and this version, 2.4.26, along with it. That way they could test the migration from each one along the process. So... They did close the other version. Um, I don't know how long it was up. I think it was a couple of days. Um, but this just came out two hours ago. And I'm already upgrading. So it may or may not be available at the time uh, you are seeing this video. Depending on if they close this or not. Waiting on another version to test migration from. But we're going to finish the update here. It takes about 20 minutes it says. Um, because it's a full OS migration. Um, so it's going to take about 20 minutes. And once my UDM is back up and running. We'll see if there are any noticeable changes. It doesn't really talk about too much um, in here as far as like applications and stuff like that. Um, but it's supposed to give you a lot of uh, better performance, um, quicker and more reliable feature delivery, um, enhanced stability, and uh, more efficient resource usage, which for the older UDMs is a good thing. So we will be doing that right now, and I will show you guys what it's like when it boots back up. So the migration went pretty smooth. I didn't have any issues. It took about, I would say about 15 minutes. And then um, once it rebooted, it had uh, some more migration to do. It probably took about another five minutes. Um, so the 20 minute time frame is pretty accurate. Um, now that can increase or decrease um, depending on how much data you have stored um, in your applications that it has to migrate over. But I don't have that much, so mine went pretty smoothly. Um, everything is pretty much looking the same. I'm not gonna go too much into this just because <coughs> Excuse me, just because I don't want to have to blur a bunch of stuff out, like public IPs and stuff like that. Um, but everything's pretty much the same. Um, right now, it is just all under the hood, underlying OS um, improvements and uh, enhancements and stuff like that to better the performance and efficiency of all the resources. Um, so less RAM usage, less process usage, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, but it's running pretty good right now. I did upgrade ne uh, upgrade network to the release candidate. I think it was like seven point. Uh, 3.81 yeah this release right here of the network application uh, so I am running the release candidate of that and it seems to be doing pretty good I'm just updating some access points and stuff like that right now but everything else seems to be working pretty good on 7 point uh, oops, nope, sorry um, on 2.4.26 of the unify OS so that was the migration uh, smooth process no issues whatsoever I'm Conlo with Tech Out. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.